Odiochienga ka pinyo ruto krach ruoka enya ne kech ka chiyo go kinyi ka kuonga monde puotha koro mogi moro kata sari ya de kama ka duogo. In Masogo village, Kisumu county, Michael Oswe is weeding the little maize garden outside his house. He is ahead of time as this time of the year would normally be planting season. The season's weather forecast, which he received just over a month ago, indicates that the rains will be light and short. By avoiding elaborate land preparation processes, he made a big step in avoiding a failed season. Kechki kao process mar pur, me bose, tokot betin, dingadi, koro chuni ni mondi, beta beta, to ikoma komo gonglo, then igo yat, koro kodi chaka biro, kata koro tento at least to the yudo ka isegi kamoro. Weather extremes have in the past disrupted the lives and livelihoods of people here and in other parts of Kisumu County. In order to ensure that the local communities have access to timely and reliable weather information, the county government has overseen the creation of climate change committees in every location under a project dubbed Downscaling Climate Information. Michael is a member in his location. Basically, trying to downscale uh, climate information service entails uh, transforming climate information that covers a larger geographical area to a local perspective. Like, uh, let's say Kisumu County, we transform information that covers the entire country to one that fits Kisumu County. So, uh, the reason for doing this is uh, just trying to ensure access to information and uh, ensuring that the communities are able to evaluate the risks that come with the, these climate uh, changes uh, and be able to weigh situations uh, in order to make decisions. The first step they take in downscaling climate information is a sectoral planning meeting that happens ahead of each forecast season. It brings together technical officers from the sectors impacted the most by weather variations. The purpose of that meeting will just to bring ideas from these technical officers from different sections. Huh? We interpret the forecast and then they, they give their technical perspective on uh, the impacts that, that are likely to occur, as uh, well as uh, give advisories on how the communities can uh, try to deal with the situation, the uncertain, the, the uncertain situation that uh, may occur as a result of that forecast. On this day, as they do often, Michael and his colleagues are meeting to review the week's forecast. They also have advice from the sectoral planning meeting on how their communities can make the most of the season. There is an information that was shared among us through the WhatsApp that we will brainstorm on it and see on how we can give it out to the community. Each of these members interacts with their communities in different capacities. They are teachers, community leaders, health volunteers, and more. They use every opportunity to share and discuss weather information within their spaces of influence. Wange yoni ndaloma kot thin kama uchali kunde oro. Wadok chino advice from us. Opedra buon muogo manyalo live manyalo tirutai jamenga. While they have already shared the season's forecast with their communities, many farmers are yet to take any measures to guarantee themselves a harvest. Committee Chairman David Odongo feels they are running out of time. I have uh, pressure because I have to inform the members and uh, this one uh, will force me to reach the, the provincial administrators, that is uh, my chief users of my best friend, I have to give him the information so that uh, he passes it to the members. Secondly, being that I'm a teacher, I normally tell the learners that kindly this time go and tell the parents this, that this time we shall have short trains, let them prepare and this is what they should do. In his home visits as a community health volunteer, Michael Oswe 
is also a dependable weatherman to his clients. Michael and his colleagues are getting better trust from the communities they serve. This is mainly due to improved accuracy of the weather information they share. The foundation of this weather information sharing initiative is an improved forecasting at the local level. The county government, in partnership with the meteorological department, have established an addition of five automated weather stations in Kisumu County and incorporate data from two others run by private institutions to bring the total to 10. This has a bearing on the quality of forecasting. It means that uh, the, the accuracy and timeliness of the daily information that we share with them, the products that we share with them will be more accurate, given that we have got a denser network compared to maybe two or three years ago, when we had about three or four weather stations around Kisumu County. Because basically, when you increase the density of the, of the observation network, that means that whatever you are able to share out and you input into the global models, you end up with better products whose accuracy is improved. According to a World Meteorological Organization report titled State of the Climate in Africa of 2019, Africa has only one-eighth the minimum density of weather stations recommended. And only 22% of these meet global reporting standards. This means many of Africa's countries already vulnerable to the effects of climate change do not have sufficient weather data, leading to inaccurate forecast and poor early warning systems. The approach used in Kisumu is an example of how local governments and the private sector can help reduce the data gap and empower communities to be more resilient. All this information is collected and transmitted to the data logger. Then on this uh, data logger we have an antenna. Basically what happens is that immediately this information is collected here, after every 5 or 10 seconds, the same information can be transmitted to our server in Nairobi, where all this data is collected and then it is shared globally. Just 15 kilometers outside Kisumu city, this is Hongo Ogosa village, part of a vast lowland flat area, geographically referred to as the Kano Plains. Due to the risk of flooding, accurate, timely weather information here can make a whole difference. My friend, flood is bad here. First of all, it, uh, it uh, affects, it affects um, uh, the livestock in the sense that there is no place where the livestock can graze. That is one. Uh, two, it also affects homesteads. And apart from that, it affects the plants, the crop which is already there. For years now, the community has relied on this man, 75-year-old Elisha Orlando, to read the weather and provide season's advice. The self-taught traditional weatherman has been at it for close to 50 years. But even his long-standing practice is now challenged by climate change. Some time back, heavy rains were in April, and they were coming, most of the, the rain was coming from the island areas and particularly in the east. But today, uh, it appears that um, that is not common. Most of, most of uh, the rain which we experience here today comes from the north, particularly the lower part of the lower Nand Hills. And you'll be surprised that uh, the northern part is today having a lot of rain, huh? uh, highland rain for that matter, more than this side. And the Kisi 
uh, rain coming generating from Kisi, uh, most of it ends up in Nyakacheria. And here we only have a little. Uh, so things have changed. He has brought an invaluable membership to the Climate Change Committee. The committee enjoys the trust of people that have followed his advice for decades. On the other hand, he gets to firm up his predictions with scientifically anchored forecasts from the meteorological department. We, we were in a um, workshop and uh, like I, I, I gave a presentation of my uh, observational uh, traditional weather uh, forecast. And uh, we did a comparison. I mean, weather forecasting, traditional weather forecasting was there even before uh, the, the weather department or weather forecasting, the, the, the scientific weather forecasting was there. If you go to fishermen, they, they will tell you that there are there is a certain bird which crows. And there is a way it crows, it will tell you whether rainfall is expected or even if it's the winds, whether it will be strong or not, things like that. But for someone whose forecasts were for years based on traditional knowledge, how different is it to communicate scientific information from the meteorological department to the local people? Easy, Elisha says, especially because traditional weather information already has very specific local terminologies for specific weather variations often presented in the scientific forecast. We have seasons, rain, rainfall seasons. High rains on season, we call the called the cherry. That is very heavy rainfall period. Then medium or medium level rainfall, uh, we also have it. Uh, we call it kodopun for that matter. And then there are also certain periods when the rain is not there. Well, we refer to it as uh, dry season or horo for that matter. Because of the participatory approach of the Climate Information Sharing Project, communities based on their indigenous knowledge come up with their own solutions in adapting to a changed climate. But the work has not been without challenge, especially when the weather does not play out as predicted. I can remember some two scenarios where I advised them and some even came to me that you told us that it was going to rain on such and such a day and it didn't. Why did you lie to us? So it is just upon us now to, 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 to convince again psychology now. Just convince the person. You know that continuous engagement also helps because uh, with the engagement you can always tell them because uh, the information we provide is a focus. It has got uh, some probability of occurrence attached to it. It can occur or it cannot occur. But you find that most of the time, whatever we give occurs. During one or two cases, maybe 10 to 20 percent, it doesn't happen. And that one is basically why we also have to need to continuously do research so that we can improve the products that we are giving to, the, to our communities. Encouraged by the positive results that their work is already gaining, the community weathermen of Kisumu and the partnering government institutions are seeking better ways to serve their communities. They reckon the project can be improved with even better results going forward. Initially, we used to produce weather forecasts from Nairobi and we were just sharing it out with the communities and we never used to bother whether, whether they are using information, if the information that we share, we are sharing with them is of any value to them or not. But we have been going to the communities, even if it's farmers, we ask them the sort of products they want, even if it's a focus. Which sort of focus do they want? Do they want the monthly focus, the weekly focus? And uh, in what format? so that we can be able to provide to them information that is relevant to them. I normally feel well if I help assist my people from my area. I normally have them at my heart. That's why I normally 
assist. I do not want any information to pass them which is uh, going to be beneficial to my members.